a leading independent oil field services company in Louisiana called DMI has developed this downhole video lock to locate obstructions in its customers' wells. Essentially a small camera and light combination, it can be lowered almost three miles into the ground, providing a low-cost view of what's inhibiting oil flow. Computer scientists at NASA's Stennis Space Center are working with DMI in developing a software package for the downhole logger. It makes significant features easier to see. Brown Cobb is president of DMI. We're taking this technology out of the space program and we're getting it back into the hands of the, of the people that can take this technology, create jobs, create worth, and create a better standard of living. The same space technology giving a boost to the oil industry is also assisting in the care of the unborn. See the heart beating. Nearly this everyone who has had a child this in this country has see. also had an ultrasound, yeah. a procedure that well, makes it, it possible like to view a baby in the mother's womb. There was a girl last week. But these black and white <laughs> images <laughs> are often was... noisy or fuzzy. There's no, there's no part. Dr. Part. Jason Collins, an obstetrician, uh, recognized uh, these limitations. Uh, uh, he brought some of his ultrasound in. views to NASA's Dennis Space Our Center, image. where but computer scientists adapted first. satellite processing so technology that enhances to do contrast in terms of and reduces eliminating noise, the noise and making, making that a clearer structure on the photograph. Making like a pinched umbilical cord easier to detect. We may actually improve a condition with the help of NASA that up until now hasn't had a solution. the oil industry in this country might appear strong. Its rigs like small islands dotting the surface of the Gulf of Mexico. But those in the business have a different perspective. We have lost 500,000 jobs in the oil industry. And what has happened, even more critical than that, is the fact that the young people are not coming to the industry. They're scared of the industry. Brown Cobb is president of DMI, a leading independent oil field services company in Louisiana. Although its clients are diverse, all have a common goal, keep the oil flowing. A blocked well means costly downtime, and until recently, determining the source of an obstruction often meant pulling the pipe, a procedure referred to as a workover. And a standard workover will run you $150,000. So you have to spend $150,000 to go out, look down the hole to see what the problem is. That's why BMI developed this downhole video logger. Essentially a small camera and light combination, it can be lowered almost three miles into a well, providing a far more cost-effective way to see what's inhibiting oil flow. With this camera, we can go down hole and do it for about $10,000. One of the challenges DMI faced in marketing this new product was the quality of the images produced in such a dark environment. Looking for a way to enhance their video, the company turned Section. to Rick Gale, head of the Technology Shows Transfer the, uh, Office at NASA's Stennis Space well, Center. Very good. Gale presented their problem to computer scientists. It's planned. Drawing upon technology used to process satellite imagery, they it's worked with DMI in developing a software package that enhanced. captures individual frames of the you video signal options. and manipulates them to bring out significant they features. The, the system is currently being I field tested. We're taking this technology out of the space program and we're getting it back into the hands of the, of the people that can take this technology, create jobs, create worth, and create a better standard of living, not only for us, but for the whole world. America has to lead and we're going to leave with technology. The same space technology giving a boost to the oil industry is also assisting in the care of the see unborn. The heart this Nearly is every woman looking. who has had a this child in this country see. has also so had an is. ultrasound, yeah. a procedure that makes well, it possible it to view like a baby wall. in the mother's womb. There was a girl but these week. black and white <laughs> images, <laughs> like those produced by DMI's <laughs> video locker, are often noisy 
or fuzzy. There's no, there's no part. Dr. Dr. Jason Collins, an obstetrician, recognized these limitations, above particularly the in trying to determine and the position the of the umbilical cord going around the baby's As neck. he demonstrates here, right here. This cord I'm going to show you what he's doing. He's got his cord around the under his arm, cutting off critical and he's coming around this way, and potentially and he's got causing the cord coming down to his belly button right death. here. We believe, through our studies, that as many as 8,000 babies a year in the United States may be impacted by a court accident. And it's the one thing that can sneak up on you and turn a beautiful pregnancy the into a tragedy. The baby move his mouth to improve his ability and to detect normal behavior. Dr. In the contrast to just some of his health care, and we end up with the second he picture was put in touch at the bottom, which is quite, quite the improving the baby more first. So that appears to be what you've been able to do in terms of eliminating the noise and making that a clearer structure on the photograph. Making umbilical cord problems easier to detect. We may actually improve a condition with the help of NASA that up until now hasn't had a solution. Thank you.